Hello everyone, welcome to Source Source Classes. This is Tushar Shaw, and in this video, we will be continuing to solve the not solve basically to review the textbook of Physical Chemistry Volume Three by K. L. Kapoor. Okay. So basically, we have uh, reviewed the first two volumes of this book, and they had. Uh, let me just show you the list. So the first volume we have already done. It had the states of matter and ion in, in solution. Let me just change the. Okay, so the, in the first volume we had the states of matter and the ions in solution. We have already reviewed that. We told the pros. Basically, there are no ones of this book, so <laughs> that is okay. Okay, then we have this uh, volume two, which is basically thermodynamics and the chemical equilibrium. This also we have already reviewed. Okay, so you may go check that video out. It's already uploaded on the channel. Okay, in this video we will be reviewing this volume three, which is basically the applications of thermodynamics. Okay. And uh, in the applications, obviously, uh, there are like uh, huge amount of topics like you can say phase equilibrium, like electrochemistry, like uh, you can say colligative properties. Okay, so all those kind of stuffs, those are the basically the applications of the thermodynamics. So we will be looking into that um, uh, quite extensively in this book. Uh, then in the like future video, in the upcoming videos, uh, we will be reviewing volume four, which has quantum chemistry and molecular spectroscopy, and the dynamics of chemical reactions, statistical thermodynamics. Molecules and those part will be in the volume five. In the concept of volume six, I have already explained in the earlier video, so I would like to mention it again here now. That uh, this part, that is the computational aspects of physical chemistry. Um, sorry. <laughs> okay. So the computational aspects of physical chemistry, this part is basically not included in any of the undergraduate uh, level or university exams or competitive exams that are, uh, that uh, happen across India. Okay, basically computational chemistry is a is a core that is uh, normally taught in uh, in a MSc MSc classes in any of the uh, standard universities, and uh, it is normally like uh, computational chemistry normally is arts in uh, net or gate. Okay, uh, exams like JAM, uh, the BHU PET. Okay, so the, these exams uh, and then we have pumped it. I have already solved uh, these papers uh, from that uh, BHU pattern jam in sort of classes videos. So you may go check those videos out also. Also, okay. So for these video, uh, for this uh, topic that is jam uh, BHU pattern from that for these uh, topics, uh, we will be having uh, no computational chemistry in the uh, like uh, say syllabus because it obviously can be computational chemistry is excluded from the uh, uh, normal uh, undergraduate level syllabus. Okay, so if you want to uh, like uh, uh, like basically volume six is uh, not required for that level, and if you are a master student, you can approach this uh, part for studying. Other than that, it is uh, like not required for the um, uh, graduation students. Okay, so. Uh, like uh, the, though it is not required by many of the student, but still I'll be reviewing because many of you are preparing for net and gate, and for that purpose, this this chapter, this, this book will be required. Okay, so uh, let us keep that conversation for here. Uh, let us uh, solve the, the no, not solve. Let us there is review the book of uh, the volume three, which is the applications of thermodynamics. So let us look into that. Okay. So basically, this is the textbook Physical Chemistry Volume Three. Uh, the topic based is application of thermodynamics, and the writer is K. L. Professor K. L. Kapoor, who is the uh, former associate professor at the Hindu College at the University of Delhi, situated in New Delhi. Okay. Uh, uh, again, I would like to mention about the publishers over here, which is basically the Megra Hill Education India Private Limited. Megra Hill Education, this uh, publisher is basically a foreign publisher. Um, uh, they have their branch in India, uh, uh, situated at New Delhi, obviously. And uh, Professor K. L. Kapoor have the, has uh, the uh, like his uh, had his book printed from this uh, uh, foreign author, uh, foreign uh, publisher. Okay, which is obviously situated in India, and that that is why it is uh, it was uh, quite possible. Okay, so uh, as it is an Indian book with Indian author, uh, Indian authors and Indian publishers, to a foreign publisher, but uh, has an Indian version. So for that purpose, you can uh, you you can assure be you can be assured that this book is available uh, on the all of the Indian market or in the Indian uh, bookstore market, or you may like uh, get this book on uh, you can say uh, uh, the Amazon or Flipkart or any other standard bookstore online available. 
okay and if you don't uh, if you like do not want to have the hard copy of this book you, have, you obviously you can uh, download the soft copy or the pdfs of the all the six volumes which are there uh, uh, the, these volumes are like available on the internet quite easily and even if you are not able to find it then uh, you may just email me i have already uh, given you my email in the uh, earlier videos so you may go check that check those videos out uh, see from uh, if you want the books you can send me an email and then i'll be sending you the whole uh, set of all the six volumes to you okay definitely i'll be replying back i don't uh, keep messages on scene obviously okay so this was all about the introduction of this book now let us uh, move into the details that is first of all we'll be discussing the contents and then uh, we'll be moving on the line with the uh, body of the book okay so obviously i'm not reading out the uh, uh, preface obviously because <laughs> that would be like a very absurd thing to do when you are reviewing a book uh, regarding the uh, material that is that is providing okay so uh, let us uh, look into the topic that are given first of all uh, my one of my favorite topics in physical chemistry which is phase equilibrium okay equilibrium between phases this uh, from every year uh, in every competitive exam one one or two questions will be arising from this part so you got to uh, learn this uh, chapter properly and obviously practice a lot uh, the, the question related matter in this book i have already explained it to you in my earlier videos uh, the uh, last two volumes of this video of this book so uh, again i'll be uh, showing it to you in this video so it will be easy for you to compare and practice uh, hence forth okay so uh, you can see that in the uh, thermal phase equilibrium part we have the criteria criteria for phase equilibria the chemical potential that is we have already established in the last book uh, that from the uh, 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 molar 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 uh, gives free energy that is the chemical potential versus uh, mu versus t type plot okay uh, that would be a like uh, a negative slope line okay for the pure substances then we have this clapeyron equation which is very important many numericals arise from this part okay then we have this application of clapeyron equation okay so uh, from the application basically uh, numerical based and non numerical based application some concepts are there you need to uh, like uh, move hence forth then we have the first and the second order phase transitions uh, quite important when we are drawing the phase diagram uh, basically two or three uh, basically three or four phase, uh, phase diagrams are there in any of your, any of the syllabus that are uh, there in the uh, competitive and non competitive exam basically uh, um, the thing that the, the uh, compound that, that the that have their uh, phase equations there in the syllabus that i remember is carbon dioxide uh, water phosphorus phosphorus iodine and sulfur okay so these are basically the five main uh, compound that uh, the whose phase diagram is there in the uh, syllabus of any competitive exam and uh, these only these would be like asked in your uh, any competitive or non competitive exams okay so basically uh, like if your luck is extremely extremely bad then you might be getting one question outside the uh, uh, like these five compounds in phase diagram uh, section okay because basically phase diagram is not limited to this five uh, uh, compound these five have kind of tricky kind of easy like it is a mediocre level of uh, phase diagram like if you understand it quite properly you can able you can be able to solve questions but it is not so easy to understand okay so that kind of concepts are they are working in these five examples though there are many other complex uh, phase diagrams also and if, as i said if you have your luck very <laughs> extremely extremely uh, at its worst then you might be getting a question of phase diagram excluded from this uh, these five examples anyway other than that uh, i don't think i have seen any questions uh, excluded from the phase diagram like uh, excluded from these five uh, 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 compound in the phase diagram questions though it is not for like uh, we we won't be saying that it is uh, extremely impossible for giving for giving questions outside these five compounds okay so we will be sticking to the mainly the concepts if you have the concepts cleared you can be like uh, any phase diagram that is given to you if uh, like uh, obviously they will be sticking to the syllabus the any competitive exam that you are appearing they will be sticking to the syllabus the, probably they will be giving a huge uh, like uh, substance which has a huge phase diagram many transitions are there all kinds of stuff but uh, you will be asked that question only in that phase diagram phase diagram which is there in your syllabus 
okay so if you have understood the concept properly if you have uh, like uh, me memorized the whole thing you have uh, uh, no you have, you know basically how the phase diagram works then be any be it any phase diagram how does it even matter you uh, know the concepts and you can solve it okay moving on to the next chapter which is polygative properties this is also one of my favorite chapters uh, because uh, this is an extremely scoring section okay be it any you know, competitive non competitive exams there will be one or two questions that come from colligative properties basically the uh, the main uh, four colligative properties that are there relatively lowing of uh, vapor pressure uh, elevation of boiling point depression of freezing point and atmospheric osmotic pressure these four are basically the main colligative properties and every year at least at least one two or more questions would be arising uh, from colligative properties and basically the um, mainly sums would be given if you are like uh, again in this part if you are, if you are lucky the extremely at its worst then you will be getting a theoretical question from colligative properties but that doesn't happen seem to happen normally because colligative properties is a chapter of numericals okay and it has huge amount of numericals in that okay so uh, like every year uh, numericals arise from this part so if you have studied uh, the numericals from this part properly then it will be very easy for you to uh, cry uh, like uh, solve the questions easily and uh, would be easier on your way okay so first of all what is the solution it has explained concentration of solution uh, then we have the lowering of vapor pressure lower relative lowering of vapor pressure that is by raoult's law okay then we have the origin of colligative properties how colligative properties arise basically colligative properties are things are uh, properties which do not uh, depend on the nature of the substance but instead depend on the amount of the substance okay and that is basically the whole point of colligative properties right we are dealing with different aspects of uh, different physical aspects being related to the amount of the substance okay that is why band of factor is introduced you have you will be already studying when you are uh, uh, going into de details of this chapter that band of factor is the colligative properties using strong and weak, weak electrolyte the uh, basically okay then we have the uh, solubility of uh, solute in ideal solution then phase rule basically phase rule is just the continuation of uh, the phase diagram because uh, the number of components in the uh, system that is arising number of phases number of degrees of freedom okay so for those kinds of thing uh, phase rule is there then we have uh, solutions basically solutions uh, uh, normally when we used to like study in our earlier classes and uh, any other standard textbook you may uh, see for this purpose except for this one you will be seeing that solutions and colligative properties are given in the same chapter okay and that is basically the uh, uh, the right thing right method to do because after the solution you can see that raoult's law is basically one of the colligative properties uh, the way, uh, from raoult's law we study the relative lowering of vapor pressure okay so uh, basically this book wanted to give give more details on raoult's and henry's law so they uh, exclude uh, say they included the colligative property in another chapter and the uh, the the so whole solution part in another, uh, another chapter so that is why they have created such a two chapters but that is okay for us because uh, obviously we uh, the more details we get the more questions we practice the more will it will be beneficial for us okay so first of all ideal uh, the concept of ideal solubility in liquids then we have uh, henry's law raoult's law uh, that uh, 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 derivation of henry's law raoult's law from the kinetic molecular theory okay ideal solution ideally dilute solutions okay then we we have uh, this uh, henry's law constant with temperature for thermodynamics of ideal solution in liquid to liquid then uh, pressure vapor pressure diagram of different types of solution isothermal fragmentation diagram uh, fractional distillation diagram um, uh, you may say cst um, get do have marvelous equation which is very important because it comprises of numericals that come uh, arise uh, each and every year okay then we have no one allows rule which is also important as its derivation is extremely important and that might be coming in your uh, any non competitive exam because this is one of the most important derivations and we have the concept of completely miscible liquid steam distillation and the distribution of solid between two miscible liquid the nernst distribution law cst critical um, temperature critical um, uh, cst is formed is okay uh, for this part you will be doing a practical also if you are uh, in your undergraduate level and obviously in your postgraduate level so i am uh, just mentioning about the undergraduate because uh, they are one of the practicals for phenol water system the phase diagram is there in your syllabus like in there in any standard university syllabus to study the phase diagram of uh, phenol water system okay ha huh. 
then we have the phase diagram and one component systems okay so we have the phase wool we have the phase diagram phase diagram of water polymorphism then we have phase diagram of two component system so basically we have crystallization crystallization of pure components and in one more one or more solids exist in one crystalline form let us say sulfur sulfur exist in uh, sulfur exist in uh, you may say orthorhombic okay rhombic and monoclinic or not orthorhombic uh, rhombic and monoclinic forms okay both of them are solids but different types of crystals okay and they exist at different temperatures so that is why we will be studying that then we have uh, the formation of compound with decomposers before attaining the melting point uh, complete set of series uh, about formation of different types of solids leading to different types of um, uh, uh, other species formation okay then we have phase diagram for aqueous uh, solid solutions in uh, solid sol aqueous solutions of salts then we have the phase diagram three component system so basically this uh, this chapter is you can exclude uh, a, a from your study material is so I am talking about both the um, uh, BSc and MSc students because uh, the, uh, the three component system is not usually asked in any of the competitive exams though it is not uh, exactly mentioned because uh, in the syllabus you can see that only phase diagrams is mentioned but, but uh, for following the trend in the last years and for following the advice of our professors you can you will be obviously knowing that uh, the phase diagram of uh, binary system and uh, more, uh, one system one component system only those two are like quite important and only those two are normally asked in uh, any competitive exams you may go through it and ch check it yourself out okay so uh, so that is one of the things so uh, phase diagram for three component system obviously you can study you can give it a reading you can uh, like uh, go through it extensively and um, uh, from different from different uh, perspectives you will be getting different um, uh, information regarding that and maybe your uh, concepts of phase diagram will be more clear after the solving the three component system but uh, like uh, i would suggest that it is highly unnecessary if you like uh, give focus on this chapter instead you will be focusing on more important chapters as well as uh, as it is there in uh, electrochemical cells because elect from electrochemical cells many questions arise every year at least two or three questions will be common from electrochemical cells every year okay so i would suggest obviously it is your choice you have the book you have your knowledge you have your conscience you can choose to uh, uh, study the three component phase diagram or you may not to it won't be uh, like um, like oh, just a difference of 1% would be made in your uh, overall academic preparation other than that it is not so much of what of it okay so i would like to exclude this part and if you want to you can give it a read you can prepare for it uh, you will be good to go <laughs> okay then we will be uh, moving on to the electrochemical cells which is basically the uh, most important uh, i guess uh, i would uh, i would say the most important chapter of this book because uh, uh, at least two or three questions will be uh, you will be you will be getting from the, this book uh, this chapter in any competitive exam that you can name off okay i can guarantee you that this is one of the favorite chapters of physical chemistry of the iits because uh, the, because uh, there are so many formulas in electrochemical electrochemistry so that that is why the students get normally confused okay and they take advantage of that confusion in giving tricky questions and therefore uh, if a student has is confused he will be making a mistake and that would result in a negative marking okay so so let us uh, see into details about how what electrochemical cells are so electrochemical cells and introduction the reversible and irreversible cells the electromotive force and its measurement the formation of galvanic cell electro electrical and electrochemical potentials the different type of half, half cell and the reduction potentials uh, the emf of the cell and the reaction very important the determination of standard potential the significance of half cell potential these are basically continuation of the potential uh, like emf electromotive force of the uh, cell that is being formed and uh, we are representing it in different ways so as uh, to because obviously we are not just taking any uh, substance into consideration we are taking electrolytic cell okay electrochemical cell which is involved a uh, huge lot of uh, whole lot of chemistry is involved in the cell and that is why we need to look at the look, look at from the chemical aspect and that and that is why we need to simplify the uh, concepts from the chemistry point of view okay then we have this uh, influence of ionic activity of reduction potential effects of complex formation on reduction potential these are basically the inorganic section because uh, from uh, we, we have studied a uh, potentiometry 
potentiometry in the analytical chemistry of inorganic part so from that uh, you can also study electrochemistry but uh, though it is derived from the, the thermodynamics it is there in the chapter of the application of thermodynamics okay so we have then cell reaction and its relation with cell potential uh, that is the nernst equation it is there okay then we have reference half cells uh, 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 expression of e cell in unit of molarity then we have applications of electrochemical cell then the main three things that uh, tend to come in the exam that is construction of potentiometric titration curve liquid junction potential and uh, concentration cell without liquid junction potential and then we have commercial cells we have, which we call batteries okay what will be the com uh, composition of batteries what chemical reactions uh, electrolytic reactions take place in the batteries so the, those concepts we need to uh, like uh, 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 study into and then uh, we will be good to go uh, in the annex for this book you can see the concept of activity is explained the dy huckel uh, law of derivation is explained and the operational definition of ph is explained this ph definition is coming from the potentiometric concept that is uh, from the inner cell we can define the concepts of ph that is uh, by from the potentiometric data we can calculate the ph of the solution that uh, calculation is also possible okay we have to take a higher standard hydrogen electrode then we have in the appendix one we have units and conversion factors and then the index huh. so this was all about the con uh, the contents and the topics of this video that uh, this book that was already uh, that was given so now let us move on to the body of this book and see whether what are the topics that are given okay so uh, first of all uh, as i mentioned in the earlier videos the, the most major con or major pro of this book is you can see that in with uh, in a chapter there are topics okay and for topic there, there is a discussion given but the main thing that uh, makes this uh, book may very concept very conceptualized and very precise and you may say very brief is that under topics there are sub topics given okay and that sub topics correspond to the uh, the uh, way of explanation that is given to you okay like uh, for this uh, the thermodynamic criteria of the, of the phase equilibria the first topic uh, which is explained in this and sub, uh, this topic would be the example of substance between two uh, distributed between two phases okay and for that the derivation is done and then after the derivation derivation is finished we have a generalized treatment of the derivation so the generalized treatment is mentioned sideways uh, so as to determine which paragraph is explaining which part okay so this is uh, like one of the pros that i would like to mention and uh, uh, like this is an extremely good thing that ha that kl kapoor sir has done because uh, out of his creativity and out of his like uh, uh, way of uh, um, uh, adjusting things and way of expressing things so um, uh, they have, i would like to give a hats off to, to to him for making a book in this way so that uh, like you can you can obviously imagine that uh, when you need to look up a small a very small topic that you have just forgotten and you need to you need to look it look it up on book okay you don't need to find the whole chapter um, from it to just uh, uh, find that one paragraph or one sentence or that one derivation which you require okay you have been given sub topics on the left side of the book you what you can do is just um, uh, uh, scan to the left side and you can you can find the way which paragraph has been uh, given uh, the topic that you are finding which is which is, it is given in which paragraph and then you can read it accordingly okay so uh, that is why i would like to like uh, uh, i would acknowledge this book for this part um, other than that let us go on to the next uh, to the next pro of this book uh, i am not uh, like going into the details of the explanation that is given into into the book because in the first and second videos i have already explained how much information is given in this book with respect to each and every chapter that is there okay yeah like i'll be scrolling and uh, scrolling through if you want to you can just uh, pause the video for a read or you may slow down the video for uh, giving it uh, the uh, by an exact just a uh, just a uh, quite look of uh, what uh, informations are given in a particular chapter okay and then you will be like good to go for uh, like then you will be understanding that so much information is given and that information cannot be covered like i try, try, try to uh, explain the each and every part of the body or each and every sections of the chapter if, uh, uh, one by one it would take hours to complete this book okay and i am not going to do that this is just a book review i need to just tell you what are the salient features and what are the uh, concepts and ideas that are given in this book that will be help uh, beneficial for you okay so the uh, you can see that uh, in between the concepts that are given you can see so many examples are given for you to just uh, practice through along when you are studying this okay 
हाँ एम बी एफ फर्स्ट एंड सेकेंड ऑर्डर फेस ट्रांजिशन so yeah so as uh, you can see that this chapter is not so big enough you can see the scroll bar is right here it is not uh, gone uh, much downwards but uh, the thing that i would like to mention is um, as i mentioned in the last video that this book has so many questions to solve okay and that is one of the biggest pros of this book that it uh, that kl kapoor sir has given so many questions for us to uh, uh, check ourselves that whether we have studied this uh, this particular chapter correctly or not okay like uh, the, this book is so perfect that if you have if you are sincere enough and dedicated enough for studying you won't be requiring any tuitions also this book is that perfect for you and uh, uh, if you are following this whole set of books i don't think you will be requiring any uh, uh, you say let us say many reference book as such for physical other topics of physical chemistry like uh, the 90 to 95% syllabus of physical chemistry are covered in this six uh, volumes so if you like few 5 to 10% the, the uh, few topics which are there not there in this you can i'll be giving you other books for consulting that but that is okay uh, like the basically the 90 if you are the, uh, doing the 90% job just by one writer and just by few uh, few say, small small volumes of book okay you can see that uh, this book is not so big only 589 pages the other books that i reviewed were only of 500 400 pages okay not a good not a very big book so just imagine even in an average 500 pages book there are six books which cover 90% of the physical chemistry syllabus with examples and questions this is not just a textbook this is a workbook also okay so in this chapter you can see that uh, uh, there are uh seven questions of um, uh, revisionary problem then we had uh, try yourself problem which is basically uh, 10 questions are there so 10 plus 7 17 questions including the just the theoretical part and the derivation part of uh, the phase diagram chapter you can see that this is such a small chapter not so much explanation is given though some graphs are there when many concepts are there but it is comparatively a small chapter compared to the qualitative properties and the electrochemistry section okay still still you can see that there are uh, 7 plus uh, 10 plus 7 uh, uh, yeah 7 plus uh, 10 which is 17 question just from the theory part uh, theory and the derivation part and from the numericals there are 12 questions ha huh, 12 questions so 12 plus 17 which is basically 29 so almost 30 questions are there big question not small questions not just multiple choice questions or small small questions which you like um, usually solving in an instance you need to focus on the question to solve it and you will be requiring it to uh, requiring to uh, read through the text again and again so as to solve one particular question let alone all the questions okay so this book is that perfect like like if you uh, read the text thoroughly if you have practiced the example that are given already in the text thoroughly all you require to do is practice the theoretical questions the derivation based questions and the numerical problems all of them which are given and uh, after you have completed all of this basically you will be you will be a master of that chapter i can assure you that this is my recommendation okay so uh, by this i i guess uh, you have understood the importance uh, let let me show you a big chapter let us say qualitative properties okay well, let's let uh, leave qualitative properties and move on to electrochemistry okay so electrochemistry you can see uh, let me just shorten it so many concepts are given i am not going to the concepts you may just um, uh, if you like obviously if you uh, if you are getting the book um, uh, available at yourself then it is it won't be any problem for you okay and if you are not please me email me i'll be sending you the book uh, the showing the whole book uh, in this uh, short video won't be i won't be possible to it won't be possible for me so i would like to just uh, it is a book review so uh, what i will be doing is explain the select features and how this book will be beneficial for you not showing you the whole uh, like uh, the contents of this book okay so this chapter is so huge so huge Hmm. So, uh, the, uh, as I've already, as you already seen, I've uh, I've so scrolled so much. Okay, so uh, this chapter has revisionary problems. This chapter is extremely huge. So let us see. This has uh, almost uh, 233 revisionary problems. So basically, and uh, let me just kind of count the try yourself problems. So 33 plus 15 is basically 40. 
58 questions are given just from the derivation and theoretical based part. Okay. Then uh, numerical problems we have 41 questions. <laughs> <laughs> so, 41 questions and 48 questions which is basically uh, 80, uh, 89 questions are there just for a single chapter, 89 questions, can you just imagine, 89 questions all including theoretical questions, derivation based questions, practical based questions, uh, I'm sorry, uh, numerical based questions, all of them, each and every aspect of the uh, topic that we discussed it is a very big chapter and that is why it has 89 questions at the end okay so uh, this is one of the like cons i would uh, uh, other than that you can see that uh, derivation regarding the concepts of activity is given which was not there in the earlier stage then we have the concepts of dibiochal law which is already explained and the operation of ph from the uh, emf of the cell so so, as I already told you, you require uh, uh, like uh, uh, standard hydrogen electrode for that and from this formula you can be calculating the uh, pH of the solution. Okay. Again, units and conversion factors are there and index is here. So, I would like to end my video here. I guess uh, you have learned a lot about the application of thermodynamics from this video. Though, if you have not learned, you have understood the uh, how this book would be helping you to learn it. And I would highly recommend this book for you if you are uh, practicing uh, practicing thermodynamics and the application of thermodynamics. So, uh, obviously, uh, this book has uh, many pros and you will have very, very less cons. So, uh, I would like to end my video here. Thank you guys for this video. I will see you guys in the next one.